In a remote corner of Virginia, a legendary moonshiner is heading to the woods, just like he's done every season for the past 40 years. If someone wanted to learn how to uh, make moon, moonshine illegally, how to beat the law, how to get away with something, then they should call me. You know, I can give you some experience on, on how to beat the system. That's a lot of other guys out there biting at the bit. They want to get in on it. You know, everybody wants to get in on this moonshine business. And, you know, it's money to be made. You know, get in there and get it if you, if you can. But Tim has made a decision that's going to send shockwaves across Appalachia. Going legal. I'm leaving the illegal business behind. I'm doing what I really want to do. He's partnering with a distillery in Kentucky. But before he leaves, Tim wants to say goodbye to a place that's been a second home to him for as long as he can remember. My dad used the same site. I used the same site. Me and Tickle was down here together. Uh, never been found. Kind of pushing. Come on with it. We just had a good, successful run. I think we need another taste test. Oh, need another thing. <laughs> if it ain't no good, it thinks. This is about where it all got started right here. Took when I came down many years ago, and we started this thing just in this one location that we're standing at right now. This is home for me. I know every tree out here. I know exactly where I'm at. But uh, going back to this legal business, hey, it's going to be challenging. But I'm ready for it. I want to get out there and do it. Shiners don't take kindly to one of their own going legal. And with rumors that Tim is packing it in, the scent of blood is in the water. Upstart moonshiners are swarming for a piece of his empire. <laughs>